side control. I've got the rocking the bicep. I've got the frame. My knees in this gut right through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with the hip bump. Get the knee in. Bring this foot. Tuck it right through here. As soon as you get in, you're going to sit up. Give him a little pull and a lift. And then sit back down. And then you're on the other side. Here. Bring the knee in. Once you get the knee in, wiggle that foot. Bring it in. Sit up. Double underhooks. Give him a little lift. And then you're out. And then let the other guy go. Two for two. Really quick. One, two, three. Once I get it in, this hook right here. Now, from here, as I center up like this, I'm going to come up. Or a lot of times I'll sit up. When I sit up, they put their hands on me like that right there. Pick a hand. Okay? Pick a hand and pull it across your body just like this. Okay? Now, as this happens, a lot of times I just go after the hand that I like. I don't care if they touch me or not. But a lot of times when you start to sit up, they hand is here, boom, yank them to the side. Okay? Once you get to here, what I want you to do is suck your suck back in. When you suck back in here, you're gonna pull and lift. You're gonna come up on the side control. He's gonna block my bicep right to there. He shrimps, cuts it in right to there, sits up, arm drags. Here, pulls, hits the sweep, and then he's in side control again. Okay, then it's a nifty little flow drill. Now, this is an arm drag reverse hooking sweep. So all you're doing is here, boom, plug the hips. Now, you don't want your butt way back here. I need to get in there, okay, as far as I can. Here, you can hug the underhook, throw the kick over, and you land beautifully on side control. Okay, so like I said, we'll start with shrimp to guard, sit up, they put their hands out. Two hands on one, pull it across, hug the back, suck your butt in, and then hit it with the foot. All right, be careful, there's a lot of people here, so don't flip into each other. All right, one, two, three. Here's the bottom side control, here, Get that knee in, wiggle from here. As I'm kind of holding right here, and I kind of shotgun him up, wham, I'm pulling right to here. If you're having trouble making the sweep work, okay, take your hand over the top. See right here? Put that down, go over the top, suck yourself in and capture the underhook, and come up over. Now, from here, I'm over his interior arm, and on the outside of his exterior arm. Now what I'm gonna do is bring this arm back underneath, stay right there, underneath this arm, right to here. I'm gonna capture his lapel. And as this arm is over the top, then from there, all I'm gonna do is I, I kinda drive really hard on this arm and make him hug me. He hugs really tight because he thinks he's defending. And then I come back and I literally karate chop his neck Lift his chin, drop my elbow. As I drop my elbow, the hand that's holding back here, I draw to the ceiling. This is your basic uh, bread cutter, okay? But it's not just drop the elbow right here, because right now I got nothing. When I start pulling this one, right there is where it goes, okay? So we're gonna do all of this in motion, okay? So I'm here, block, come in, right to here. I'm already kind of pushing him back. Bam, capture his arm. Real grip. Come in, hug. Sweep, I'm already up. My arm is already in place here. I'm taking my head straight to that arm. Boom, and I'm making him think I'm gonna attack him. As I come back, I'm grabbing and I drop. Okay, so your basic mechanics, lapel, Lapel, this drops, this lifts. Okay, you guys understand? So, it's your basic bread cutter. And it's a good setup because how you land in a sweep, you, you obviously like will sweep to control, but you can pass the control. You should be doing that in the beginning, but then you pass the finish. Every pass has like a walk right through the door finish. Every sweep has a just come on in and finish them. And this sweep being an arm drag right here. When I have this arm drag here, and I capture this, and I sweep them, 
I'm capturing his arm right to here. And as I come up here, I'm already capturing the back of his lapel. I'm attacking his arm because that's a bait. Put it right to there. And I just come up with the chin. Okay, so whole sentence. One, two, three. So by, by doing stuff like this, you got simple stuff on the arm drag. Okay, so a lot of times when people are playing, you know, um, this way. I like to pull people in first yeah. and get their hands on me because, like, I'll scoot in and get them to touch me. See that right there? And then I kick them back and then I go, you get what I want. Okay, um, because the problem is sometimes when you're playing butterfly guard against higher ranking guys, they don't come in like that. They don't want to touch you. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm like, Scooting, scooting, they're this and that, and they're trying to run around you and everything, right? So a lot of times for me, I'll just kind of grab them and yank them in, or two, sometimes they'll just pass my guard. Put them just like that, and then they'll come in, and they'll be connected to me, and we'll sit and play for a second, and then I'll catch that leg, and then I shot them back, and then I push and clear, and now I'm here. Next one is the easiest, super simple. Get that hand on the mat, put all your weight on the hand. So you can't go nowhere. Kick your leg out, come up. Simple back kick, grab the lapel as high as you can. It's kind of like punch the uppercut, grab that lapel, and just do a pullback. Beat the lapel right to here. If you've got beautiful legs and you can body triangle, which I cannot, you do it. If you don't, put your foot on the hip right to here. I got my hand in the lapel just like this. I got my hand under the arm, snake it behind the head just like that. Give him a little lapel choke. That's your first one. Your second one is you can find this bottom lapel right to here. Give that a little tug. And then from here, you just do a really nice tight row. Okay, and puff your chest out. So, simple stuff here. Grab that lapel. As I'm yanking, I yank, boom, kick my leg out. Come up and hug. Hit this lapel right here, or you can hit him right to here. With the shoulders, this would be a no for you. Push his head down, pull right to here. Okay? Now, the thing that sucks is you gotta lift him, get around that beautiful hair, and then come in for your choke. Alright? Just basically a little pelvic choke. Alright? So many options you can do when you take your back. I'm just trying to keep it simple, okay? But I think it's a pretty good, pretty good little game. Row grip, kick him out, come up right to here. You can seat bump grip if you want to. Seat bump grip, collapse that arm, boom, come in. Your naked choke or short choke, however you want to do it. But it's an option to the back off the arm drag. Okay? One, two, three. Right? You, want, you want it all the time, it's the best. Okay, but what happens is, is you start wrestling guys and get really good. They don't want to do that anymore. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get my, my arm drag. I'm going to come right to here. And I'm just going to kind of hug his back. I got my knee resting on his rib. And you know, a lot of times what you're gonna do is you're gonna break your hips and so it keeps super tight because he thinks, now what? I'm gonna take his back. We just spent a couple minutes doing that. He don't want that, he don't want that no more. He's got two options. He could swing his right arm like a backstroke. And if he does, oh, look at that. He just brings me that underhook. Nice and pretty. Now, I'm in perfect position to sweep him. Okay, so set this back up again. I come right here. Then I come right to here and I just keep it nice and tight. I keep my head down low because now he thinks I'm going to take his back up oh, and he swings his arm back. Now I have an underhook. When you underhook on this guy, you always want to grab the far shoulder. You don't want to grab the, the hip because if I do that, he can now wizard my arm really tight and potentially arm lock me with stings. I can prevent all that by keeping this high. Okay, just like that. See right there? Now you can't get it. Now all I'm going to do, my, my little detail that I have on the butterfly sweep is my knee goes right into his ribs and my foot flares out like that, okay? So I got my foot flared out, I got my knee in his ribs, I'm hugging his shoulder, last thing I gotta do is just get his hand. I grab the wrist, I pull it down to my hip, I bring my bottom foot through this hole right here and I dig it onto the mat. Put my ear, push, kick and I go. That's a very big detail. Slide right through, and I'm super high and tight. Okay? The mistake that people make on the butterfly sweep is 
they get this position right to here, and they go right to here like this, and then he immediately head guards me, or deep head guards me, and my foot is now stuck. It's not how you want to do it, okay? And two, uh, who's your granddad? IBJJF, you gotta, you gotta clear the leg to get it. But that beast doesn't sweep or you gotta clear the leg. Uh, you would be swept now, and you can stick him, and then you would need to clear the leg to get your pass. Gotcha. So, you're losing three points by not clearing the leg. So, here, get right to here, hug nice and tight, kind of make him think, circle, he swings that arm. Now, all I do is put my knee right to his gut, capture, drive, kick, and let go. Now, I'm right to here. First submission. See how tight this knee is up to his face? Other knee comes up supports. Boom, right to there. Boom, right to there. Okay, that's your first set. One, two. Okay, and I'm nice and high and tight. Okay, everybody got it? One, two, three. I'm gonna do this one where I'm gonna get super tight like this. And I'm like, bro, and then, bro, bro, bro. But I'm gonna lift my elbow up like this, and now he underhooks me. Okay? Everybody got it? So now here, I lift my elbow up. Oh, man. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and overhook him. Watch this hand right here. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to grab his lapel. And I'm going to feed it right to here. See that? Okay? So once I get to here now, all I'm going to do is start falling back. I'm going to block his wrist. Put my foot on his hip. Right to there. Bring my knee up. My free foot is going to come right to his armpit. Okay. Here, and I squeeze. Now, I'm pushing with my foot, and I'm holding his lapel, sliding my elbow out to the back of his elbow, and I'm getting a really nice cutting arm work. Now, this is an arm breaker, okay? It's very tight. So, what's happening is, is I'm overhooking his arm and feeding this lapel. See that right to there? Okay? And there's a whole series just based off of this grip. It's an entangled arm grip. Okay? So, but we're baiting him into it by doing this whole arm drag series. Okay? So I'm here. Boom. Hug. I'm super tight, but I'm loose. As soon as that happens, I come back. I get the overhook. And then I start falling back as I grab his lapel. And I feed it. And I start coming in here. I start putting my foot on his hip. Make it hard for him to pass. Come over to the other side. Wiggle back. Foot right to here. Give him one pinch. I'm pulling this hand as I'm pushing with my leg. And this is a monster submission. You can also do this from the close guard. If I have this like in this position right here. But what has to happen is, is you have to create space to make it happen. So I just started hitting it from the butterfly guard. Boom, he pulls his hand back, cool, there it is. Right to there, okay? It's a little bit more advanced, guys, but it's a killer submission, okay? And once you start playing with the entangled arm stuff, dude, we could just be like this, and I could just overhook, grab his lapel, and come back, bam, I'm right to there. If my grip breaks, then we can start switching to other ones. Okay. So we'll make this the last move and then I'll take some Q&A if anybody's got any. Okay. One, two, three.